Most of you know today is Giving Tuesday, so we have a lot to give today. <laughs> you all have a lot to give today. <laughs> um, is our sixth largest Powerball jackpot winner. Uh, it's, for, it's over 420 million, with a cash value of 254 million. Uh, it was won by 20 people who work for the North American Stamping Company in Portland, Tennessee and uh, you'll get to hear from them in a moment. But the ticket was sold in Lafayette. And uh, the people standing here today represent 13 cities and two states. So they literally come from all over Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the lady who has been the, the driving force of buying tickets and keeping track of everybody and when she finds out she wins, calling everybody, and it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fun, interesting story. Uh, she lives in Lafayette and bought her ticket at the smoke shop. And part of what happens when uh, there is a winning jackpot ticket sold in Tennessee is the store owner gets $25,000. So the first small check we're going to do today is to uh, Joyce Gregory from the smoke shop for $25,000. jackpots of this size is the amount of dollars that are raised for education. Uh, our last winner who got here today, Steve, his daughter is a freshman at Belmont. I hope she's on a Hope Scholarship. She is. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> she's with us somewhere over there. Uh, but because of uh, big jackpots like this and all the other games that we do, we have the opportunity to raise almost $2.9 billion for education. And uh, that's over 100,000 students every year. Over a million students have benefited from the dollars that are raised by big jackpots like this. So it's been a, a great 13 years. We've got continued growth every year. And part of that is because we have great winners who uh, are good ambassadors for us throughout the years. So without further ado, let me introduce Amy O'Neill, who is the leader of the group. I don't know what that says, but we'll just do that and uh, let you hear her story. I'm going to start by asking her to tell you what happened when she found out she won. Amy, or they won? <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy O'Neill. We are. Our group is called the Tennessee 20. My son came up with that name. Uh, what happened was, uh, you never think you're going to win this lottery, but you do it for fun. We have, our group's been doing it, some of us, for eight years. And then there's some that's only been doing it for three because they're new. Uh, we faithfully do this. We don't care. It's just good. You know, we're supporting the education and we're supporting Tennessee. Uh, so I just went to bed. I said, I'll just check it in the morning. It ain't going to be no winner, you know. <laughs> well, I got up, made a pot of coffee for my husband. They were going hunting. Well, my son saw Lafayette, Tennessee on the TV. He started texting. I know Mama's bought that ticket. Wake her up, wake her up. And they were shaking me and shaking me. And I run. Went in there, grabbed my tickets, the third ticket there it was. And I just started screaming. But I had to look again because I thought I'm in a dream. My husband had to look. I looked again, 
And so then I had to start calling people. They wouldn't answer their phone. I'm like, get up. Uh, they're like, oh my gosh, Amy, shut up. We're not going to work today, okay? <laughs> And then they all come to my house, and we had our meeting, and, and everybody just screaming, and just the, just the joy. We've got probably just 500 people in this family alone that's going to be helped with just a small amount. Well, but do you all have any questions? How many tickets do you buy every weekend? For, for our group, we do it for the Wednesday and for the Saturday, and we buy $120 worth of 60. And then if we get any winnings from that, because usually we'll get a $4 Powerball or We'll use that winnings and get more. So for this win, it was 68 picks. How do y'all know each other? We work together. <laughs> some of us have, so there's some of us that's known each other even 20 years. Hi, I'm Natalie with USA Today and the Tennessean. How are you? Nice Congratulations to, you. to everyone. I'm just curious if anyone has thought about making any donations at this point to Gatlinburg and the people that have been affected by the wildfires. I'm sure there is. I know we're already looking at it. Great. Anybody else want to speak? I think it's a good call. Come here, Huffman. <laughs> this is Steve Huffman. <laughs> if I can talk without starting crying, <laughs> <laughs> if I get his happy tears. Uh, of course, I work with all these people, and and I want to say this: everybody up here has a heart of gold, and for this, it isn't changing what they've always done. All these people have always had a heart to help people and be there for people. And, and you know, we, we can do that if we don't have any money. We, you can help people. So this this is such a blessing that, that, that God's given us. That, you know, now we're more able. We can do more and help more as far as we'll have financially be able to do those things. And, uh, and, and myself, I feel like God has put a huge responsibility on me uh, as far as how this money is used. And, and uh, I think everybody up here will, will use these winnings towards things that, that God will honor. And, I mean, you need to <laughs> going to be a lot of a lot of people blessed through this and, and I'm thankful for that. It, it's given me a relief. I was on my way home last night from from here and my check engine light came on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't have to get frantic about that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Let me ask you if you plan to buy a ticket for tomorrow night. Yes. Head <laughs> <laughs> smoke shop. <laughs> Uh, Amy told me an interesting story I think you'll all find interesting. Come back here, Amy. <laughs> Tell me what happened when you called the president and told him 20 of you had won. You all work for him. That was Kevin Sutherland called. <laughs> oh. Yes. Uh, Come uh, here, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I called uh, our president, and uh, uh, he was very happy, uh, uh, congratulated every one of us. Uh, North American Stamping Group has been good to every one of us, and uh, uh, we are all proud uh, to work for uh, that company. So. But the question was, were all 20 of you walking out today? No. no. I know, but that was yeah. the question the president oh, wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, oh, I, had told, employees. <laughs> yeah, I had told him that, hey, uh, we, we met this morning, uh, we're talking about it, been good to us, uh, and nobody is going to, you know, leave you high and dry. We all plan on coming in, getting our replacements trained, and uh, and, and go from there. But you're all planning on replacements. <laughs> I'm actually going to continue to work. So, uh, I've been with the company 13 years, and uh, proud to be a, uh, an employee there. So. <laughs> everyone, everyone right now is probably thinking about their own office pool, but never think it could happen to them. I mean, what were you guys thinking? Uh, well, I woke up, I turned my ringer off, and uh, uh, Billy Taylor had texted me, and I won't comment on what he had texted. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I called him, and I went, 
What's up? I thought somebody had passed away because he said, you know, get up, and then the next text was 911, and I was like, oh, well, somebody's passed away, so I called Billy, and uh, he said, man, you need to get up and watch the news, and I went, why? <laughs> he goes, I said, I'm in bed at 6.30, he went, we won the lottery, and I said, okay, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so uh, my wife said, you need to get up. And Billy was saying, you need to call Amy. Uh, uh, five of us had checked it. We won. So I called Amy, and she said, you need to get to my house. So I told my wife, and I was kind of shocked. You know, I was just uh, wandering around. <laughs> and she said, get ready, get in the shower, and let's get to Amy's. So uh, uh, that's my story and how it went. So. Uh, but when I called my father-in-law, he was the same. He wouldn't even get out of bed. His, his, uh, my mother-in-law tried to wake him up, and she said, uh, Danielle, your father won't get out of bed. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, uh, when we told him, it was the same thing, and he went, okay, because Friday, the Friday before the day after Thanksgiving, uh, 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 me and him went to... Uh, 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 I won't say the restaurant myself, <laughs> but uh, we went for lunch and we were going to go see a movie. And uh, uh, so we ordered off the lunch menu and uh, it was going to be, they said, you know, if you don't have your food in 15 minutes, you get it for free. And so he was like, you watch and he was like, man, it's not that much. <laughs> you know, and so we were, uh, we were sitting there and I went, it's past, we're going to get it free, you know. And so he, uh, uh, so she stopped it, but the waitress did when she uh, come back and she didn't say anything. So we sat there. So when she brought the ticket and she said we didn't make it and he was going you are the luckiest guy <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is the god's honest truth he go i said well i'm in on the lottery tonight or tomorrow and he said uh, uh well wouldn't that be something you know and i said yeah it would so we went to the movie uh watched allied best movie i've ever seen <laughs> so uh, uh and that's it. So. <laughs> Anyone else want to tell us? Come on up. Come on. Come on. Amy and I couldn't get anybody to talk earlier. Now we're. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tim Lyle. How you doing? Uh, kind of comment on Kevin. He's one of my good friends at work. And, uh, I'm just thankful he's here. Because he's always the one we have to chase down for the money. <laughs> He was $120 short on me one time. Yeah, so I paid up. And, then, and luckily, this time, I paid every time. I was the first one. Right? He come running out with those $6 and said, here, Amy. It, it's, you know, I'm very blessed to have friends like this and family and supporters and stuff. And, uh, of course, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've really enjoyed it and hope to do a lot of good with it. Just keep a level head and kindness. Well, first, just no change. That's that's my motto. So. But uh, do a lot of good with this. All of school. But I have a grandson. He's actually autistic. And so you know, me and my wife have to try to figure out what we was going to wear this morning. It's kind of like in support of uh, my grandson. Too, so just keep awesome. that in your mind also. No takers on this side? <laughs> Any other takers over here? Oh, come on. <clears throat> well, this is uh, an exciting day for all of us. And, uh, well, this is somewhat small news for them. They don't really care. But we do. They were our 200th winning ticket sold worth a million dollars or more. So we now have... Uh, who are walking around as millionaires since uh, the lottery began in uh, 2004. So with that, why don't I get you all to gather up around here, around me. Amy, come over here. All the rest of you scoot behind us. Some of you get down on your knees. <laughs> come on, you gotta get closer, get closer. If you get down there, you won't be able to get up. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 
Are we at all close? All right. I'll get in front of Don. That wasn't me, that was Don. <laughs> Watch your hand. Don. Let's turn sideways. That may help a little. Amy. Y'all look over here too. Yeah. <laughs> lucky to have such um, really cool people win. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. We don't know who gets the big one, but you each get a little. <laughs> <laughs>